Have you found a bat? Encounters with bats are most often reported during the late summer and fall, when young bats are learning to fly, or migratory bats are moving long distances to their winter habitats. During migration, bats may be found in highly unusual locations like the sides of buildings. These bats are often just resting and should be left alone. If moving a bat is absolutely necessary, thick gloves should always be worn. If the bat does not look sick or injured, it may be placed in a safe location where it is safe from predators such as cats and magpies. Choose an elevated location near a clearing so the bat doesn't crash attempting to fly. The bat will most likely seek shelter until night. On a warm night, a healthy bat will leave by about an hour after sunset. Bats can go into a state of torpor during the day and may appear dead. However, they will become active once they warm up and may still bite if handled. Never handle a bat with bare hands. Although bat-associated diseases are rare in Alberta, there is potential to contract rabies from a bat bite. Millions of bats live in close association with people and few ever create problems. Bats can safely use areas where contact with people will not occur. They also provide many benefits for our communities and the ecosystems on which we depend. Have you found a bat? Visit albertabats.ca slash citizen science for more information on how to report your bat sightings. Have you or your pet been bitten? Contact HealthLink at 811 for instructions on receiving treatment. It is important to remember, post-exposure rabies shots must be administered as soon as possible after any bites or suspected exposures. Learn more about Alberta's bats at www.albertabats.ca.